Right now, I have him at number five. And some people think that that's not respectful of him. That's very respectful of him. I think he's terrific. As a matter of fact, when I watch him talk, if I didn't know his height and weight and just saw his face talking, I would think he's a defensive tackle. But he plays quarterback. And I, he's so effective. I put him at number five, and I think he deserves a trip to New York. Okay, now before last night's game, here's the top three in Heismanology, calculated by ESPN Heisman voters. Jameis Winston still leads by a wide margin. However, 20% of ESPN voters are leaving Winston off their bat ballot entirely. BC's Andre Williams appears on more ballots, 85%, than any other player. Most of his support is coming for second place and third place. A.J. McCarron has the second most first place support. However, he only appears on 55% of the ballots. Which players make up your top three right now? My number one is Boston College running back Andre Williams. Now, he rushed for over 2,000 yards in the first 11 games. Only six players ever have rushed for more yards in the first 11 games. And he's the kind of guy that has come out of nowhere. Nobody was talking about him earlier in the season, but guys like Cam Newton and Johnny Manziel were the same way. They weren't on the Heisman list early in the season, but they came on late and won. At number two, I've got A.J. McCarron. The thing about it is that, to me, he has this Heisman moment in the Texas A&M game, where in the first quarter they were down 14 to nothing. On the road, with the crowd all over them, and McCarron calmed them down and did what he does, which is make his team better and lead them to the win. Third, I've got Jameis Winston. And the reason I've got him third instead of first has nothing to do with any off-field issues. The reason is that while he's been magnificent, he has not had to have that late fourth quarter comeback. He has not had that desperate shootout that he had to win under pressure. As he went into every fourth quarter, or at least the last quarter that he played, his team was always way ahead. And so I like guys that have pulled it out under pressure at the end. I trust your judgment because obviously a lot of people are not voting for James Winston right now because of the open investigation into sexual assault. How much do you think that's going to affect him with this Heisman race? I think it will because I think the people that vote for the Heisman see it as a, as a very proprietary thing. They, they feel like they're a part of the Heisman. And it's not just on the field that the most outstanding is defined by. It's also representing college football. And there's this worry that this accusation may turn into a charge, could turn into a conviction. Now, right now, there is no charge. But the possibility that that could be there, I think, is something that they don't want to be a taint on the Heisman should it come to fruition in that way. Personally, on the suspicion, on the accusation, I would not let it affect a vote if I had a vote at all. Because I think it should be on the field until there's proof that off the field stuff is a problem. The investigation continues into that matter in Tallahassee. Now, voting for the Heisman Trophy ends on December 9th, one day after we find out which teams will play in the national championship game. Trevor Maddich with us this morning.